वेलकम बैक गाइज होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल दिस इज मोहम्मद बदरुद्जा बैक अगेन विद अनदर मॉड्यूल फ्रॉम वेब सिक्योरिटी अकेडमी एंड दैट मॉड्यूल ऑल्सो बिलोंग्स टू सर्वर साइड मॉड्यूल एंड द वनरेबिलिटी वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस मॉड्यूल इज गोना बी एक्स एक्स ई दैट स्टैंड फॉर एक्जेमल एक्सटर्नल एंटिटी एक्जेमल एक्सटर्नल एंटिटी इंजेक्शन ऑल्सो नोन एज एक्स एक्स ई इज अ वेब सिक्योरिटी वनरेबिलिटी दैट अलाउज एन अटैकर टू इंटरफेयर विद एन एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ एक्जेमल डेटा and it often allows an attacker to view the system file or application server's file system to interact with any backend or external system that the application itself can access and you can also perform uh, server side request forgery so uh, before going further uh this disclaimer as always for you this video and its contents are only for educational and awareness purpose and i do not support any unethical or illegal act that's been said let's say so i want you guys to read and understand all this uh written part right uh but i will brief a bit while i am solving the lab so what happens some application uses xml format to transit to transmit data between the browser and the server so xxe vulnerability arises because the xml specification contains various potentially dangerous features and standard parser supports these features even if they are not normally used by the application the xml external entity are a type of custom xml entity whose defined values are loaded from outside of the dtd what is dtd dtd stands for document type definition and it is kind of a declaration right and uh, you can define that dtd like this and here the problem comes so once you define the dtd in that uh, declaration you can define any external entity and that entity you can pass in the uh, tags these tags are same like html but uh, there is one difference in html there are predefined tags like h tag is for header p tag for paragraph fine but here these tags are custom tags so you can name it as you want fine okay so um there are various type of xxe attacks which you may get in the wild so exploiting xxe to retrieve the files means there is information disclosure so you can read the system files and if the xxe vulnerability exists so you can exploit it to perform the server side request forgery attack where you can force the request uh, to your controlled server and exploit blind xxe to exfiltrate the data which is out of band so and there is blind xxe too so if the application is vulnerable to xxe vulnerability you can exploit it but Uh, sometime what happened the response says you do not uh, show on the browser you do not see on the browser so at that instant there may be vulnerability but uh, you need to uh, adopt another technique which is blind xxe so where the attacker can trigger a parsing error message containing the sensitive data right so that's been said the first lab is going to be exploiting xxe to retrieve the file and uh we will see that in the uh, lab so let's go and we will solve the lab i already open up this lab first of all we are going to see uh what we need to do in this lab so exploiting xxe using external entities to retrieve the files okay so that means the server is vulnerable to xxe vulnerability and we need to exploit that vulnerability to retrieve the system files <coughs> agenda of this lab is this lab has a check stock feature that parses xml input and returns any unexpected values in the response to solve the lab inject an xml external entity to retrieve the content of etc passwd file fine so we need to exploit xxe vulnerability um by injecting any external entity and we need to retrieve the file which is etc/passwd i'm going to uh, start the bug proxy on my browser and go to the burp suite i already um open up the lab 
and enable the burp proxy. So choose any product here. Let's choose this one. And I'm gonna put it here so we can see both of the and put that here. Okay. So now as you choose it, uh, we find here request like so this is the get request where I choose this product and if we see the URL you will find that um, there is a parameter product ID and its value is 5 that means this product has identifier is equal to 5. In the description of this product and here in the bottom of this page you will find to check the stock and there are a few stocks okay so choose anyone and just check stock so once you check stock you can see you got 40 units that means in london 40 uh, number of products uh, available in paris check stock and here 787 units are there so like this now come back to the burp proxy and we will analyze these requests so uh, this is the post request so if you see this request where we choose the product you will not find here any uh, xml but once you go to this post request where it submitted the product id with the uh, stock id so this is the product id and this is the stock id and if you see this thing you will know that it's using xml version 1.0 with encoding utf8 so uh, these are the tags and these are the custom tags you can see so this is for the product id this is for the store id and i'm going to send this request to the repeater go to the repeater uh, send this request again and here this is the london the first id is for london let's choose the second so this is uh, these are the number of products available fine now what i need to do here is i am going to add here the dtd which is document type definition and we will uh, declare here an external entity so um, doc type let's say anything you want i'm gonna say anything so no matter what you want to put here then here so this is the format and here you need to say entity and let's say entity name is also you can put anything so i'm gonna say it um, test say system and from system you can choose file url so file slash etc slash passwd and that's it okay so i just add this one and this test is actually the entity which is going to be going to use this system argument with value of the file with the path fine and instead of this five i'm going to inject this entity which is test so come here put this test but here you need to put this test like this fine and just send this request and as you can see invalid product id of course because this is not the valid product id but it brings the file content of etc pass wd and we solve the lab here okay so if you want to see the response right click on the response and show response in the browser copy this go back to the browser and just uh, paste that url and before hit enter just make sure you enable the burp proxy now hit enter and as you can see um, raw and here etc slash pass wd content is there so that's it for this video if you like the content please like subscribe and share see you in the next lab bye